The news about that oil rig disaster keeps getting worse. Today, the Deepwater Horizon sank in the Gulf of Mexico after burning for 36 hours. Now authorities are worried about an environmental catastrophe. Tonight, the search continues for the 11 workers missing since the explosion late Tuesday night. The Coast Guard has now expanded its search area to cover 3,000 square miles of the Gulf waters. Whit Johnson has the latest tonight from New Orleans. When the oil rig finally sank into the Gulf of Mexico this morning, there was still no sign of the missing. Now an environmental concern. The Coast Guard estimates crude oil at the rate of 8,000 barrels a day could be spilling into the open sea. 700,000 gallons of diesel fuel was also stored on the rig, and now that it's underwater, officials don't know whether that fuel is also spilling. They do know this accident has a potential to be an environmental disaster. I think there are just too many uncertainties for us to be able to estimate uh, what the volume of the, the potential spill could be. BP Oil, which leases the platform, and the Coast Guard have at least 35 containment vessels dispatched to the area. If necessary, they hope to use an underwater robot to stop the flow of oil, but don't know when that might be. We have the ability to apply, pre-approved ability to apply dispersants and allow oil to, to be dispersed through the water column so it doesn't impact the shoreline. Officials suspect the Deepwater Horizon may have suffered what's called a blowout. There's a delicate balance of pressure as the drill is going down into the ocean rock and water is being pumped down into the well to push oil up. If too much pressure builds, the oil can suddenly and forcefully gush back up. An emergency valve known as a blowout preventer can seal pipes off, but if it fails or isn't activated, a massive fire could ignite. Officials now believe the missing men may have been on the platform and may not have had enough time to escape. Loved ones can do little but hope. Just wait and see. Wait until we hear something. And that's all we can do right now. You don't know who was alive and, and who was not. More than 100 men who made it off the rig alive were reunited with their families today. What was the first thing your son said to you? Thank God I wasn't up on the rig floor. Thank God I went on the floor. The Coast Guard says it will continue its search for the missing. If necessary, BP says it will drill what is called a relief well next to the existing one. They'll pour in concrete in an effort to seal it off. Maggie. Whit Johnson in New Orleans tonight. Whit, thank you.